friends, I want to share my technique today of how I firmed and lifted my cheeks and also minimized my double chin. You guys commented in my previous videos that you realized that my cheeks are a bit more smaller and also my double chin is not so noticeable which is really great in my books because I can see results and you guys can see results as well so I'm really excited and today you might have realized that I got the angle to look at me straight on I'm really <laughs> proud of myself because I'm brave enough to finally put a camera right on my face like this without feeling self-conscious of my double cheeks I mean my double chin and also my chubby cheeks here I have chubby cheeks ever since I could remember and even when I was a lot thinner than I am now I still had very chubby cheeks and also a double chin and so as the years went by and also the skin loosened around that area it became very a big concern of mine so I tried next exercises like you lift your head up and then you point your or you push your tongue against the top of your mouth or the top of your gum inside and that doesn't seem to work and I also got this little device here which you push down like this and yeah that looked weird and it didn't work too. Now chubby cheeks and double chin could be due to genetics which is true in my case because my family always said I look like my grandma who has a really full face and even in her 80s right now she still looks glowing and beautiful. I guess that's one benefit of having a chubby cheek is because there's more stuff inside to hold the texture and the shape of the face for a longer period of time. And also the other factor of having a chubby cheek or double chin could be due to the food like food with high sodium or just purely junk food. So I'm sure you guys are itching to see my routine so I'm going to go take off my face makeup right now. That's why I have minimal face makeup today actually and so let's begin. Hey guys, I'm back with a 100% clean face and also you guys are looking at me straight onwards now because I changed the camera angle. It's kind of intimidating for me because you guys can probably see my double chin and my chubby cheeks more but I want to really show you guys that these devices does work and also it's recommended to be used on an absolutely clean face because it reduces the pulling and tugging that can create if you have cream on your face and also it just keeps these little devices clean itself. For the reefer carrot, it's recommended to be used after shower or you can use this even when you're bathing in the bath because it's 100% waterproof. That's because your skin is most relaxed then and this device works best when your skin is relaxed. We'll start off with the reefer carrot just like how I usually start off my routine at night. And if you guys are wondering, I'm wearing a singlet top underneath here so I'm not completely naked from here down. The reefer carrot is inspired by the kneading techniques of professional estheticians. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But as you can see, the gentle massaging and also pinching in the middle actually mimics the motion of manual lymphatic drainage. So when you roll it on a certain area, it gets rid of the water retention and the toxin retention that are underneath the skin and also if you have any fat there it loosens the fat and when you roll it it actually firms the skin so it pulls the skin or it forms the skin to how you want it to look and I found this result especially prominent for my double chin here as you can see from here you can't really see much of my double chin but when I put my hand on there it's still there so it worked a lot and if I do a side profile, which I never do before because my double chin is especially prominent. As you can see from the side, my double chin is a lot more straighter angle. Not like before where it just goes down on a slanted angle like this. So it really does help with these areas where you have fat and water build up and toxin build up. So this kneading motion also promotes elasticity in the skin, so more firmer of the skin. And also these little balls here, I don't want to call them balls because it sounds dirty, but that's what they are. These little things actually have microcurrents running through them, kind of like how our skin has really weak electrical currents running through them. This mimics that of our skin. And also, I might have forgotten to mention this before, but these little boards here are actually made of titanium. So you guys don't need to worry about them rusting or anything. You can even use this in the bath because this thing is 100% waterproof. And also, the reefer carry is not limited to your face area. You can also use this on your arms, your legs, your calves, your tummy, even on your breasts if you want a bit of lift on your like bust area. So we'll start off with the face. And what I do is I break my cheeks into three sections. So the jawline and majority of the cheek here and also the cheekbones here. And each section I do about 20 rolls. Just like this. On the face there's no, not much um, feeling of pinching. But if you do it on the arms like here it really does pinch. So you have to be careful if you're doing it on other areas. Mm -hmm. 
So about 20 times on each section. Move on to the contours of my cheeks. This area seems to be a bit harder for me because I have a lot of meat there so it's harder for the um, balls to get through. And now move on to my cheekbones. And also I like to roll a bit on my forehead and again for the forehead I tend to split it into three sections so two on the side here and one on the middle and each section is about 10 rolls and I just move along like this And I'll be doing only half the face today because you guys can see a comparison. So I'm only doing this half of my entire face and also my neck and shoulders. And I'm going to move on to my double chin. The double chin part looks most awkward because I'm going to lift my head up like this. I get the most surface area this way and what I do is I split it into three areas as well. So I focus on the middle area here. I give about 30 rolls on this middle area and then I'll do about 20 rolls each on the side areas like here and I pull it down to my neck area like here so that's my double chin and neck done and it's a bit red now it doesn't hurt actually but it's just the rolling motion of up and down it just creates friction and also the area gets heated up so you really can feel that the product or the device is working my cheeks feel really warm. <laughs> so I'm going to move on to my neck and shoulder area. I'm going to take this top off so you guys can see it more clearly. And I like to have my hair in a headband like this so it doesn't get in the way of the roller. So I'm going to do my neck like this. Just on the side like this. And I give my neck in this area about 20 rolls as well. And when you're massaging this area, it actually feels really good, especially for the joining areas of your neck and shoulders. This muscle tends to get really sore for me. And when I roll it there, it just feels really nice. And now I'm going to continue on to my shoulders and pull my straps down because I don't want them to get... I hope it doesn't feel weird for you guys, but that's how I do it each night. I keep my shoulders about 20 pumps on each side and this shoulder especially when I carry heavy bags the tension and the pain builds up really fast and also when I'm just sitting from the computer for a long period of time it hurts as well so this rolling motion really releases that tension and also gets rid of the pain and to finish off this side I'm just going to put one of these balls and push it into the pressure point of the area just above your collarbone and also the side of your the size of your cheeks here so about this area and this pressure point will get rid of any toxins and water build up that are around your face and neck area just press that for about three to four times gently I just put my hair back so you guys can have a comparison from the camera view right now I can see that this side of the cheeks is a lot more lifted compared to this area that's a bit more droopy so after even one use of this little device you guys can see that there is a difference already and so I'm going to move on to the next device which I'm going to perform on this side of the cheeks as well so you guys can see the difference the second device I use on a daily basis produces intense vibrations about 6,000 vibrations per minute and I kind of feel dirty just by saying that but the vibrations promote collagen growth so I like to Focus this little device on areas such as my smile lines around the nose and also around the eye socket to prevent any wrinkles. And I also focus on the contours of the cheeks here and a little bit on the forehead. And I feel that this is able to reach areas that the reefer carrot can't because it's, the reefer carrot is so big it can only reach larger areas. But this can reach smaller areas such as fine lines around the nose and also around the eyes. This little device I was talking about is called the Beauty Bar 24K Golden Pulse 
for skincare and I can't remember the name that's why I have to bring it out but the reason we have a gold bar up top is because the gold actually conducts the natural electrical currents on our skin more effectively because the ions of gold is really similar to the ions of living things that's like our skin and I know I'm getting a bit technical here but this little device does really work on me especially on the smile lines here before when I smile like this there's a dramatic line up here but now after using this for about one to two months on a daily basis this line has decreased to I can't even see it much now so it's been really helping that so I'm going to switch it on and just show you guys how it works the bottom knob here is how you switch it on and right now it's vibrating intensely on my hands so what I do is just on the contours of the face like this and I usually do this for about two to three minutes each day. I don't really count how many times I go through each area. I just randomly pick. It's very important to go in an upward motion because it, you want it to lift the face, not drag it more down. So it's really important to only use this on a upward motion. Focusing on my smile lines and around the eye socket and also around the eye socket here and I usually use this when I'm watching TV at night so it's kind of really relaxing and so that's this half of my face done and I feel kind of uneven at the moment because this side is all nice and lifted and this side is still a bit droopy so at night when I finish with these two devices I'll carry on to my deep cleansing steps and when I finish all of that off I'll go go in and apply with my SK2 facial treatment essence and I realized that after using this it really holds the result of Rufa Carrot and also the Beauty Bar so if you want a prolonged effect of these two items really go in with a deep nourishing treatment essence like this as I mentioned before I do this routine every single day and I saw a dramatic difference already and I'm pretty sure you guys can see it too so I'm really really excited about these little two devices that I found I know these devices are on the pricier side of things but for me personally these are truly investment products you can get creams or facials that probably last you two to three months max and you have to keep repurchasing them which can be more expensive than in the long run and also for the reefer carrot right here you can use this for other purposes too like if you have any shoulder pain or waist pain you can always roll on these areas and get rid of the pain so i find these to be really investment products so that's my little technique that really works for me thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions regarding these products do comment down below and of course don't forget to subscribe and like and until next time bye